Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Tremlo plugin in Logic Pro to create dynamics and accents with drum loops. In particular, I find this really helpful when working with hi hat or shaker loops or other topper elements. And this is especially helpful for audio loops because there's no velocity controls to control where you want certain notes accented and where you want other notes to be pushed down in volume. So first, let me just play this example I have here. It's just a simple kick and snare beat on the bottom, and then up top I have just a straight eighth note hi-hat. So pretty much every single hi-hat note is the same dynamic all the way through, and then with the tremolo plugin, it sounds like this. And then with the kick and snare back in. So the Tremolo plugin is really helping here to create some dynamics and accent certain notes in the loop. So next, let me show you how to actually set up and use this effect. The first thing you want to do is load the Tremolo plugin on your hi-hat or shaker sample or other topper element in your mix. And if you don't know where the Tremolo plugin is, you can locate this under the modulation folder. Then what you're going to do is in the Tremolo plugin, you're going to select the mono Tremolo preset. And the reason why I use the mono Tremolo preset is because both the left and right channels are in phase. So you're not going to get different dynamics in the left and right channels. Then I'm going to sync this to the tempo and you can set the rate. I typically find that half notes and quarter notes work best for this type of effect. I'll start with a half note. And then I wanna pull the smoothing all the way down. So the shape I'm getting is just a very quick on and then off. Then what I can do is just adjust the symmetry to set where I want the accented notes to be. So the up or on is gonna be where the accented notes are and the down is going to actually turn off the notes completely. But we will fix that in just a bit. So we're just getting one note basically on every half note. And if I pull the depth down, you'll start to hear some of the notes in between the half notes come back in. So the first note of every half note is being accented and the other three are being pushed down in volume. So these groups of fours where it's loud, soft, 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 loud, soft, soft, soft. If you wanted every other note to be ducked down, you could set the rate to a quarter note instead of a half note. The notes that are actually ducked and the ones that are accented is going to depend on the tempo of your project and the pace of the hi-hats. These are eighth notes at 172, so that's pretty fast. In some situations at slower tempos, a 16th note might sound just like this. So again, it's gonna be tempo dependent. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to half notes. And let's say that instead of every downbeat being accented and then three notes being ducked down, I want it to be soft, 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 loud. What I can do here is play around with the offset and I can change the position of the accented notes. So if I pull this forward, just like so, I'm gonna get one, two, three notes soft, followed by a fourth note that's loud. In the example that I played earlier in the video, at the very beginning of the video, I had every third note accented, so I could try a different offset setting here, maybe something like this, where the first two notes are ducked down, the third note is pushed up, and then the fourth note is ducked down in a repeating pattern. So this is gonna be soft, soft, loud, soft. Now you can also try playing around with different rates besides quarter notes and half notes. For example, if I wanted a dotted quarter note, I could try that. And now it's gonna set things in groups of threes. So we're gonna get one note accented followed by two notes 
that are ducked down. So loud, soft, soft, loud, soft, soft. And of course, if you want the duct notes to be pulled down even further, you just pull up the depth. If you want it to be more of a gentle effect, you can pull down the depth. And that's starting to sound like a triplet, but with my 4-4 four, four beat down here. It creates this really cool sort of like three against four polyrhythm. It's not technically a polyrhythm, but it's just a more interesting groove than what I originally had. Now, if you only want to apply this effect to certain parts of your mix, Let's say that the hi-hat isn't consistent like this throughout the entire song. You can try rendering this into the audio file by using the bounce and place function. So with this effect pulled up on this track, I'll just press control B. I'll set this to a new track. I'll leave the original. In fact, I'll go ahead and mute it. You do not want to bypass the plugins here. And then I'll click OK. And now you can see that the loop has been processed with the Tremolo plugin printed into the audio file. So that's how you can use the Tremolo plugin to create additional dynamics and accents in certain drum loops. Again, I find this particularly helpful for hi-hats, shakers, and other topper elements. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support, and thanks for watching.